I, and I, I, sometimes I watch these videos. I just started watching them. I didn't used to watch them. And I see some mistakes, some little mistakes of spelling or something like that. Don't, don't sweat that. Don't worry about it. You know, pay attention. We go over it enough times, you get the correct one and stuff like that. And if you have a question, just follow it up. You know, alhamdulillah. I mentioned that because one time I said Juruf Har and I said it with ha instead of a ha, and that's a mistake. It's Juruf Har. Okay? But you say that Jurufun, that noon is clear. The letters that we're going to do now, the sounds we're going to do now, Wusif da Athana Kam Jada Shaksun Katsuma, they're not going to be Idhar. It's not going to be Idram. Mimma. You know what I'm saying? We're not going to have it. It's not going to dakhla shay shay. It's not going to mix in like that. It's going to fade in. It's not going to be iqlab. When we fix the ambiya, we're not going to flip it. But we're going to gradually fade it into the letter. So, watch the first one. The first one is yan surkum. Yan. If we say yan. Okay, but see now, we're going yan surkum, right? So you would say yan surkum. You see how you do that? You fade that into that. Yan surkum. And what we have here is we have a nuna sakina going next to a sad. In one word. So that is the rule of ikhfa. It's between the idhar and the idgham. It's between being clear and it's between being entered into the next letter. So it's faded in. You understand that? Yes, yes or no? Yes, sir. Okay. So then we have alladina hu ma'an salatim. Say an. Say an. Salatihim. Salatihim. This is a real good example because most people recite this surah, right? Salatihim. I'm doing Hamza. Okay, so now you wouldn't say an salatihim, you say an salatihim. You see, you fade in it. An, an. You don't go on. A lot of people pronounce the ayn incorrectly. It's ah. 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 Not all. Ah. ah. An. Now say, an salatihim. And for those people who recite in Warsh, it will be, an salatihim. That's for the people who recite in Warsh, because the lamb has a different rule. Okay? But for those people who recite in, in Hafs, it's, an salatihim. Because we have a noon is sakina next to a sod, even though they're in separate, separate words, the noon is sak, the rule is that you, ikhfa, you. Fade it into it. You everybody following me? Is that easy? Rihan sar saran. What do I have? Liman sabr. I like mine better. Okay. Liman sabra. Liman sabra. Okay. Hold on. No, no. I'm sorry. I made a mistake here. I don't want to give this example because we already covered that one. Okay. We already covered it in two different words. I want to do it again with the tanween. Sorry about that. So now we're going to do, which one am I going to use? Rijalun sadaqu. Okay. We have Rijalun. Rijalun. Say Rijalun. Because there's nothing here, so we have to pronounce the, the tanween clear, right? I don't hear your voice, Abdul Hamid. Abdul Hamid is representing Staten Island, Strong Island, and Bed Stuy in the house. Not stuff alone. Rijalun. I want to hear it loud. No, I, I didn't hear him though. Rijalun. Okay. Now, afterwards, now we're gonna put sodeku. Sodeku. Okay. Sodeku. So now it's no longer Rijalun because they have a tenween next to a sod. So it's gonna be what? What's the rule? What's the rule, people? <laughs> it, no, the rule is ikhfa. That's the name of the rule. The rule is ikhfa. How do we do that? This is what I want from you guys. Because remember, we're almost finished. Believe it or not, Jem Zuri is not a long text. And it's not a difficult. You're through the meat and potatoes of the whole text. Did you know that? When you finish noon and sack and tanween, that's most of the subject matter in Jem Zuri. The only other thing that comes after this that's long is madud, the mudud, the, the, the med. Because it's nine rules. But that's pretty simple. It's real simple. It just looks intimidating. So what you have to start doing, and this is the problem with the Western students, application. 
not just learning. Everybody sits at so many different messages and, and classes and online and pal talk and go to this room. But can you do anything afterwards? Is there a practical skill that you've developed? And developed means piece by piece. You start off and you're a little clumsy. Then afterwards you get your, your bearing, just like riding a bike or ride skates or whatever it is that you like to do. You didn't learn how to do it in one time, but you practice. So you have to open your mouth and practice it. See, the rule is that you name the rule. Then you say how it's practically done. What's the rule? The rule is ikhfa, right? Why is it ikhfa? Because there's a tanween next to a sad. And sad is one of the letters of ikhfa. What's the proof? The, the poet who said in Jamzuri, the classical text, Sif thena, Sif, Saad. Right? And he said, Saad. So we learn from this text, you see what memorization, and you start bringing this up, that the tenween, when tenween comes, Next to a sword, that the rule here is ikhfa. How do you practically do that? In Arabic, we would say, bain an idhar wal idgham. You bring it between an idhar, which is to make a sound what in English? How would we say idhar in English? To make that noon sound independent, clear. To make a clear noon sound. Make a clear noon sound. Let me hear it. And we had a whole lesson on just noon. We wrote on the board, ben. Or, or ben, like this, ben, and bin, and bun. Remember that? Just to clarify what noon sound was and what tenween is. Use that stuff. Or you get set, we're going to get referred, referred back and we have to start all over again. Go back to that stuff and learn how to use it. So there's a noon sound. That's saying, rijalun. Then when you have a sword there, you say, rijalun sadeku. And you do it, it should take maybe two counts. Okay? So then when the person it goes, is that good? No. It may, they may do it. McKean may sell it. He may even give it away in all those CDs. But is it correct? And that's, not what, that's what we're doing here. We're doing it the correct way. Okay? So we got to get to the point. The point is to get that noon almost pronounced, then you start with the sad, within two counts. So we have one in one word. Yansurkum. Ansolatihim. Rijalun sadaku. The next letter is dhal. And we got to work a little bit fast, you know, because as Farid, Sheikh Farid um, Abu Mujahid used to say, the time is little, but the obligations are many. So we have to, you know, work hard. Okay? The next one that we're going to have. What do I have? I'm going to use Yeah, I have the same thing. Is that. So we have mundir. Say mun dir. Mundirun. But so we, we, we just finish it like that. Say, Mundir. You see, the noon is sack and it comes before a dal. Like, sif there. So the dal comes, Mundir. So then we have that ikhfa. That's the rule right there. The next one, we would have it in two words. So I say, Man dalladi. We say this a lot of times, right? We after salah, we recite this. And before we go to sleep, we recite this, right? Man dalladi yashfa'u indahu. So we say, man, the lavi. Say, man, the lavi. So we say, man, the lavi. Not man, man. Let's say, man, me. Mean fata me. Say that. You remember the lessons? All these lessons build on each other. When you forget, the teacher will take you back. Mean fata me. Louder, unclick your fingers. Mean fata me. Right, so it's not going to be ma, it's going to be me. Okay, man the lady. You have to open your mouth. Man, man the lady. 
tongue has to come out your mouth. As, as the Sheikh Qasim used to say, Qasim Ahmed, he used to say, it's teeth and tongue. Stick your tongue out. Man dhaladhi. Right. And, and like, and like Al-Jazr, he said, وَلَيْسَ بَيْنَهُ وَبَيْنَ تَرَكِهِ إِلَّا رِيَادَةُ مْرِئٍ بِفَكِّهِ And there's nothing for a man doing it and not doing it except exercising his jaw. 